Yo, what's going on, everybody? And once again, this is Mr. Span, and this is Life As I See It here on Span TV. Thank you for checking me out yet again. And with this particular video, uh, it's kind of it's a response to one of my uh, one of my subscribers uh, who watched uh, my uh, the Honest Truth series, and they wanted me to do a, a pretty much a response about. Uh, what music does to people and how music affects people and makes music uh, how music makes people do things and so I thought it was kind of interesting because of how he worded the question you know he was talking about how music makes us do things and in my honest truth series in the conclusion video in the commentary I was pretty much in the comment section speaking about uh, how music doesn't really make you do anything at all and I thought he probably saw that but maybe he didn't but I don't believe that music makes you do anything that you weren't already inclined to do um, there was actually someone I, I, I can't you know draw his name right now in the comment section that I was going back and forth with uh, that made the assertion that uh, you know that people would do certain they would play certain music before they did certain things like uh, you know, even G. Craig Lewis has spoken about it before about how people would put on uh, gangster rap music before they go out to go shoot or kill somebody. How, uh, you know, these videos are somehow ingrained, you know, hitting us with these subliminal messages that are making us more predisposed to do certain things. And my answer to that is that that's a crock. <laughs> pretty much my that's pretty much my my answer to that is that it's a crock simply because you are going you're going to do what you want to do you know um when you listen to gospel music you are already in the mood to praise so playing gospel music will enhance your want to praise God in a sense uh if you want to make love to your, you know, your significant other, your wife, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, or whatever. You're not going to listen to gospel music. You may listen to some R&B. You might put on uh, some Luther Vandross. You may put on uh, some Trey songs. I mean, you might put on something that puts you in a certain mood to do that. If you want to go and shoot somebody, you might put on some gangster rap you might play some ghetto boys you might play some uh gucci man or something like that you know but the music itself doesn't make you do anything the only thing the music does is put you in a certain frame of thought a little frame of mind and in a certain mood it enhances the mood that you are already predisposed to wanting to have i don't know anybody that uh, well, I've heard and everybody's heard on the news. Well, you know, like with the Columbine shooting, there was a lot of people that said, well, they listened to a lot of Marilyn Manson. And uh, because of Marilyn Manson, that precipitated the attitude that these kids had. And that's why they went up and shot up their school. No, those kids were going to do that anyway. They just so happened to like listening to Marilyn Manson. When the whole thing of music making people do things or movies making people do things is a crock. People are going to do what they want to do regardless to the music, regardless to the movies. And sure, pop culture does facilitate a certain line of thinking and you know, if if you don't have the certain if you don't have the the proper upbringing, if you can if you can't tell the difference between what's real and what's fantasy, what's entertainment and what's not, then you aren't really a a capable person to function normally. At least that's how I would put it. You, you can't really function normally in a civilized society if you would let things such as those affect you in that way. If your parents haven't prepared you and haven't taught you that, no, this is wrong, this is right, this is real, this is fake. If you don't have those fundamental principles down, then anybody can be influenced by anything. But not one record has made anybody go out and do anything that they didn't already want to do. 
If somebody wanted to go kill somebody, he's going to do it. Whether he chooses to listen to Snoop Dogg or not, doesn't mean that Snoop Dogg made him kill anybody. If somebody wants to uh, make love, they're going to do it. Luther Vandross didn't make them make love. He just facilitated a move for them to want to do it. When you want to praise God, you listen to the Clark sisters, you listen to Mary Mary. But they didn't make you praise God. They put you in a better mood to do it. And that's the difference. People have to get this understanding that the music and the movies don't make you do anything. These things only facilitate a mood. You are responsible for your own actions. You are responsible for everything that you do. Nobody can make you do anything that you didn't, you know, you weren't predisposed to doing or didn't already have the idea or the, the thought in your head to do. The music didn't do that for you. The movies didn't do that for you. So uh, I hope that's uh, I hope that's a sufficient enough answer for you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, what do you guys think about this whole music and movies make people do things and stuff like that? Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you again on Span TV. Peace.